Hello my lovelies. Welcome to the first day of Vlogtober. Good morning. It is Friday the 1st of October. And as we know, October is almost the best month of the entire year. I'm very excited to be doing Vlogtober. If you are a subscriber, you may want to click the little bell wherever that is because I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be uploading. Lots of noise here today. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading because my aim is to do uh, the Vlogtober as a weekly thing and upload it on a Tuesday and then you get your usual video all October Halloween-y inspired this month lots of fun things so that will be on Thursday but I might break it down and have it Sunday Tuesday Thursday we'll just see how it goes this is the most mental month for me because the house is in complete disarray uh, my cat is not very well although he's rallying and thank you so very much for all your kind words and messages and so on I'm sure that is helping because he seems to be okay he's just here he's gonna jump up in a minute he knows that we're filming and he likes to be on camera or have at least one little ear on camera um so I'm doing lots of Halloween-y things I've got lots of commissions lots of work I'm doing my own stuff and um, you know have lots of fun plans so hopefully you're going to really enjoy that I'm very excited to just be doing this and to be spending a bit more time with all of you on the agenda today I have a wedding dress to finish and I'm very behind on it it's I feel a bit stressed about it really but um, she's picking it up in the morning so Come hell or high water, I have to get it done. And both of those things might happen because it's raining so much here, it might flood. Um, I don't have a waterproof jacket, otherwise I'd take you on a little walk outside in the rain. I love walking in the rain, but I don't have, despite putting it on my Meg 9 way back at the beginning of this year, any kind of waterproof outerwear, which is um, really not good. So this is where Loki positions himself when I'm sewing. I've got my computer chair and pillow and he sits there while I sew, which is lovely. And he seems a bit more himself today. He's certainly eating a lot, so hopefully that's a good sign. I don't normally do rouleau loops like this. I normally do a ridiculous amount of them all next to each other. And actually I I feel like I'm dicing with death, pinning into this silk like this, but it's a, a needs must thing because the bride is eloping to Iceland with her partner and um, he'll be doing this dress up. So one, didn't want to make it too difficult and then also these kits are um, in short supply locally because, uh, well, there's petrol issues. And this is a slightly different way of doing it, but it works and um, it's, it's, you get good results. I just discovered this channel, Merve en Papier, sorry for massacring it, um, French people. It is just the most wonderful channel. I've been binge watching it for the last few days and um, it's keeping me company while I sew this wedding dress today. Check it out if you haven't already because it is just lovely. Oh, low battery. This is absolute heaven. Harry Potter. Cup of tea sewing my love just had an exciting delivery and Loki is coming to see if it's edible but it's these little
cookie cutters, mini cookie cutters. There's a, a bat, pumpkin, a ghosty, and a booty cat, a Loki. I am having a, an All Hallows afternoon tea with my girlfriends next week and I shall be filming that for you and sharing that with you. So these are for some of the foodie things that I'll be making. It's very exciting. It's this one particularly, or actually these two particularly that I wanted, but I think that one might be a bit small. But anyway, very happy with those. So it's about, it's about 20 past five. I have worked quite slowly today, I've paced myself because my finger is really painful with rheumatism or something like that, developing my witchy fingers in time for Vlogtober. Uh, I've got to cover all of these buttons and then sew all these buttons on. But then the dress is finished and then I have a shrug and I managed to find these fabulous vintagey looking clasps and actually the shrug is so amazing that I'm going to have to make one for myself. I have got enough of the fabric left over so I uh, I think I'm going to do that. Obviously not now. So I'm going to crack on with this and then I'll be watching Dracula. Wine. Or is it wine? It could be blood. morning it's saturday the 2nd of october it's about 11 o'clock i've just had a bride here picking up her dress and she looked amazing and she said very kindly that i could share some footage with you so i will do that i'm a little bit superstitious though because i want her to have her wedding before i do that so that will be at some point next week um, on the agenda today is some cleaning and some Halloween decorating. I've got some crafty supplies to go and buy and I've got to film Thursday's video so I'll be doing a lot of that today. So I haven't had breakfast, I'm going to have something to eat, check my emails and then crack on with spookifying my little cottage by the sea which is very exciting. little bit windswept, it's very stormy here by the sea and I couldn't be bothered to get all done up because I am sorting out my sideboard and just about to polish it. Oh, if you could just smell this. It is absolutely gorgeous, it's beeswax and I don't know what else is in it. It's just, it's like, it's lovely. So I collected ivy from outside. I've got, I haven't got a garden, but I've got a little bit where plants grow and it's sort of a, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. But anyway, I got that from there. And then these pumpkin lights, which are fake mercury glass. I love mercury glass. They were bought a year ago from Poundland they were a pound and then I've hung a little skeleton on that side and then also one here on this side and then I have 
these pumpkin tea lights which are also from Poundland although this one here was two pounds and that's a, a real pumpkin <laughs> and a real spider of course uh, just some pretend spiders and here we have a ratty from Wind in the Willows it was made a very long time ago this is a design, it's actually a card that I got from the Alexander McQueen exhibition and it's a, one of the designs that would be on one of his scarves. And then I have these metal candelabra things uh, that were bought from Laura Ashley many years ago. And this is my Goya inspired um, candelabra because I've got skeletons hanging off of that. Some candles that bleed apparently but I'm not lighting them just yet. Another pumpkin and then another one of these and then I have over here this is a postcard that I framed it's one it's some I can't remember the name of the artist but it's one of the sort of the Dutch masters I've had it for so many years I just can't remember. I switched out my light, this is my owl light. I bought this from Pound Stretcher, there's a bit of a theme to my decor. These lace glass tea light holders were a gift from my sister-in-law, ex-sister-in-law now, uh, more spiders. This lovely book is just on loan. It's my lovely friend Zoe's and um, I'm just borrowing it but I, I've put it there to enjoy it while I have it on loan. And then I have my bat tray from Shop House Hastings which is um, a great little gift shop. They're really lovely. They have tons of lovely stuff and they gift wrap things beautifully but there's my bat tray. I'm probably going to have a couple more bits and pieces on on here but I really love it I'm so happy I've had a very leisurely Sunday so far it's the 3rd of October I normally get up at the same time every day about seven o'clock if not a little bit earlier and I just get on with what I need to get on with but I decided to relax this morning have a few cups of tea in bed and edit the vlog so far which is looking really good or well I'm really pleased with it that will be up on Tuesday I feel a little bit under the weather actually I always know when I'm going to be ill because my my skin goes a little bit bad so I decided to put on a favorite dress put on some very dark green nail varnish it looks black but it's very dark green and on the agenda today I always say that on the agenda like this is a very official meeting but basically I'm going to be sewing the and filming the YouTube video for Thursday. I have a couple of things to show you. I'm going to make scrambled eggs on toast for breakfast slash lunch brunch. My pumpkins keep falling down so I'm gonna to have to find a better way of keeping those up. I've added my little pumpkins to my Halloween sideboard these, I made a video about these which I'll link. It's a really easy little project. I've used Liberty Prints here. There's another one. And then I've put one over there as well. It's, it's a great little afternoon crafty thing to do with your kiddlywinks. Or if like me you are basically still a kiddlywink, it's a very entertaining way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Um, or any afternoon really. So I've made those, I've added those. The runner on here is a, an antique, probably Edwardian, with all this handmade Irish lace, which is a type of crochet, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But I got that from a charity shop. And I'm very, very pleased with all this. But yeah, must solve this problem. Some favourite things. I was given this box of matches by my lovely friend Hula Hannah for my birthday. 
Um, so they're not a recent thing to share with you, but I have this idea of a little craft project where I do covers on matches. I don't know if this makes any sense, but basically I want to find some old Halloween-y type prints, just photocopy them and then stick them onto existing match boxes so that I get this sort of look and feel. So that's something that I want to do and if it works I'll show you. And then the other day Hannah also gave me these brooches. She was having a little sort out and um, she very kindly gave me these brooches because I do love a brooch. So there's this really lovely, that sort of reminds me of a like an Elizabethan brooch, that one. And then there's this one that has sort of opaly looking stones and this sort of smoky quartz. And then this very beautiful rose one, which I'm very excited to wear. They're all fairly old brooches. And then I went to a sort of a, a vintage fabric fair that Missy Mop Fabrics organised. I am on a very strict no fabric purchasing, but seriously, when something is this good, what can you do? So I this is a, a 1950s, early 50s voile or voile that's got this flocked and printed rose pattern on it. It's incredibly narrow, so it's it's literally this wide. Uh, and I misread the, I mean, there's quite a lot of it, but I misread the label because I thought it said, I thought it said something else so that it would be a big square, um, but it's very, very narrow. I think there's about five meters of it by about half a meter wide. So I will be able to make something with it and I'm thinking a blouse, but I'll have to be a little bit clever about what that blouse is going to look like. But yeah, some new little things that I'm particularly enjoying and a little craft project. Good morning, it's Monday the 4th of October and I didn't really do much yesterday evening because I felt really rough so I ate some popcorn and I watched Cruella which was a very nice way to spend the afternoon and I had a very early night. Today I am filming a video for Thursday which I'm very behind on. This just seems to be the thing that I am um, going to say a lot because I'm just very behind on things. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to edit this and upload it so that you can watch tomorrow. And um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much more to this vlog. So this is kind of like a hello, good morning, it's Monday. And also a thank you for watching the first vlog. I'm going to end it at this point and then film the next one for you. If you've enjoyed spending time with me in my little cottage by the sea and you haven't already subscribed feel free to subscribe it'd be really lovely to share my sewing adventures with you and I'm very excited about the video on Thursday I think you are going to really enjoy it and uh, yeah lots more vlogging to go so wherever you are in the world I hope you're staying safe and well and remember we can make this world a better place just one little stitch at a time i shall see you on thursday my lovelies bye